Dropcam's new time lapse feature, Future Tech and Mighty Dwarves. I'm John P, and this is Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. Okay, guys, today I screwed up and I wore this Under Armour shirt that has green lettering here. So you see, we've got a green screen and green lettering. But watch what happens whenever Dave fixes it. Ouch. There's like a hole in my arm. And someone is trying to call me while I'm recording the show. Anyway, let's get back to today's episode. Everyone loves time lapse photography, right? but no one wants to actually have to take the time to really set it up, take thousands of photos, then process them into a video. Except the folks at Dropcam. That's right, if you have a Dropcam, you can now log onto your account, select a time period, and turn it into a time lapse. You can even choose the length of the clip, and it also has a smart feature, which will slow down the periods of the video where there's motion detected. Once your time lapse is processed, they'll let you know, and you can share it with the world. And remember, we currently have nine public Dropcams. So you can watch all the action at our current office as well as at the new Geek House while it's under construction. By the way, you do have to have one of their paid accounts, you know, so get out of the uh, demo period before you can do your time lapse stuff. And now I'm off to get a Kleenex. I'll be right back. <laughs> the Kleenex mission was successful. The show may continue. By the way, folks, Head on over to geekbeat.tv forward slash 2014 MacBook Air because today Apple dropped the price of the MacBook Air by 100 bucks. That's right, you can read all about it and all the other junk that they did or didn't do because I haven't read it yet. As soon as we're done shooting, I'm gonna go read it myself. Hey Dave, it kind of hurts like right in here and right in here. Is there anything wrong? Do I have a scratch or something? I don't know. Anyway, some of you may remember when we unboxed the Mighty Dwarf Blue 2 Bluetooth speaker a few weeks ago on the live show. I'd never heard of it before it showed up, but I took a wild guess that it had some sort of noise conduction thingy built into it. Yeah, that's the technical term. Because there's sticky stuff on the bottom and it's pushy. Anyway, after the show, I stuck it on our table and paired it with my phone, and when I turned it on, I freaked out. In fact, after that show, basically everyone in the building came over to check that thing out. Best of all, the little speaker is also a speaker phone. So if you're gonna carry it with you for music and stuff, you just might as well use it for conference calls. Just stick it on a table and let her rip. The Blue 2 is a hundred bucks on Amazon, and it's so awesome, I'm giving it an Editor's Choice Award. I would highly recommend picking one of these up if you want a tiny little device that can produce an extraordinary amount of sound. There isn't anything else in its class available right now, and if nothing else, you can win enough bets with your friends to easily pay for this little sucker. Just tell them your little speaker sounds better than their big one. Okay, who else hates all those stupid USB cables? Let's see, we've got micro, mini, the square kind you put in a printer, some cables are charge only, some are data plus charge. Oh, and if you manage to dig out the right cable, you still have to plug it in right side up. Try doing that in the dark. But fear not, a new USB interface is on the way. It's called Type-C, and it includes a new reversible connector. Not only does it offer the same connector on each end and both ends can be inserted any way you want, the cable is capable of transfer rates up to 10 gigabits per second. The new spec should be finished in a couple of months, so my guess is we'll probably start seeing the first product hitting the market around the holidays this year with widespread adoption over the following 12 months or so. USB Type-C should also fit nicely with the EU's new edict that all phones must share a common cable type. So I'm guessing Apple will finally be forced to adopt a USB standard. Speaking of Apple, you know, there's lots of applications you can run on Apple machines and PCs too, but you know, that was my segue. And you can learn how to run all those applications by heading over to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. That's right, what do you want to learn, Dave? 
Photoshop, Final Cut. AutoCAD, Final Cut. How about Microsoft uh, Processing, Word Processing Suite? How about Excel, PowerPoint? You can learn all of that and more. In fact, I believe someone just uploaded a How to Cook Squirrels video <laughs> for the woodsman in all of us. I could be wrong about that last one. I'm not sure. But you can head over to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat and search for squirrel stew. Or like Photoshop. That might work too. But I do like them. I can't help it. They're good. Nothing ruins a quiet, peaceful walk in the outdoors while squirrel hunting quite like the roar of an airplane overhead. Well, inventor and entrepreneur Joe Ben Beavert is looking to change all that with his VTOL electric airplane. The S2 is a new design that will take off vertically like a helicopter and then convert to aerodynamic flight like an airplane. He hasn't actually built one yet. The team has built around two dozen 10 pound models though to demonstrate the concept. And now NASA is funding the development of a 55 pound version. Simulations indicate that a full-size 1,700-pound S2 could fly two people about 200 miles in an hour on 50 kilowatt hours of electricity, which is the equivalent of about one and a half gallons of fuel. That would make the electric aircraft about five times more efficient than your standard gas burner. The concept is pretty simple. Rather than using a couple of big hungry motors, just use a bunch of little small ones. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I got like 20 of those little consumer quadcopters and strapped them all together, Dave. A new product called XStat was recently approved by the FDA for the treatment of gunshot and shrapnel wounds on the battlefield. Kind of like what we get around here at the Geek Beat Studios. I'm in here, sir. Anybody else? Jackson, but that's about it. One of the biggest problems that can occur in combat situations is obviously sustaining a gaping wound. But something like that, oh, I don't know, like 90% of soldiers die needlessly. Really, 90? That's it? Hey, we don't let facts get in the way here, Dave. The bottom line is that it's not the wound that kills most people, it's the bleeding out part. And it can be really hard to stop a gushing wound. So Rev Medex invented the X-STAT. The X-STAT is a giant needle thing that you shove in a big hole and squeeze and deposit a bunch of tiny little sponges that will expand and swell to fill a wound within 20 seconds of contact with blood. This creates a temporary barrier to blood flow and provides hemostatic pressure. It's a brilliant idea that could save a lot of lives. I just hope no one ever needs to actually use one. Which reminds me, one last story for today, the death of Google Plus. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know about you, but Callie and I have been hearing a ton of rumors about Google reallocating most of the Google Plus staff and basically calling the platform a failed attempt, which could explain why Vic left the company. If they walk away from Google Plus like they have other stuff, I'm gonna be really pissed. So tomorrow, Callie and I are gonna talk about what we're hearing going on and what the implications might be. Okay, that's it. All the links can be found in today's show notes at geekby.tv forward slash 836. Wow, can you believe this is episode 836? Yeah, we rock. And we just had episode 135 of the live show, yeah. which means we're getting really close to like episode 1000. Yeah. Maybe we should buy a building or something. Yeah, let's go do it. Write a check. Anyway, if you guys see any cool stuff that Callie or I should cover on the show, just tweet us at Callie Lewis or at John Pose. Bye. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Nanu! Nanu. <laughs>